Are the Houston Texans the best team in the NFL? I think they can make a case for it. There are only three unbeatens, and they're one of them. And I think if it's not uh, uh, the Atlanta Falcons or San Francisco 49ers, I think it would be the Houston Texans. They're 4-0 and and looking impressive. Well, you were there Sunday against the uh, Tennessee Titans, and um, we knew going in that they were probably supposed to work Tennessee. Right. But, but to know it and then to go ahead and right. do it and to do it in such impressive fashion, uh, what really stood out? To me, it was the defense. Mm -hmm. What did you see that really got your attention on Sunday? Well, I, I think two things probably. The way that uh, Matt Schaub worked the tight ends, they had like 11 catches. Andre Johnson was almost an afterthought, and he's a superstar in this league. And the second thing is how much the secondary's improved. Mm -hmm. uh, Kareem, Kareem Jackson's kind of been the weak link, and he really improved on some deep balls, and he got a big interception and a touchdown return. It's going to do a lot for his confidence. Oh, yeah, because he was the guy they used to pick on yes. in, in previous years. Uh, Wade Phillips done a great job with this defense. Where do you think this defense ranks? And uh, J.J. Watt is having a phenomenal year. He really is, and I think he's the defensive player of the league. And it's only been uh, one month. Uh, we were asking Wade Phillips about in the locker room afterward. He said, "Have you ever remember uh, a player as young as he is, second year, mm -hmm. you know, playing this well?" And he said, "Well, I've been around some great ones." He mentioned Elvin Bethay and Reggie White. He didn't even mention Demarcus Ware. I was going to say, "What good. about Demarcus?" He left him out, but maybe that Cowboys are a bad memory for him. But it, it, it can be a shutdown defense, and you couple that with how explosive this offense is with Aaron Foster to run it down people's throats. It's quite, they're quite an uh, interesting team. And finally, Kirk, if there's anything to be concerned about if you're Kubiak, what would that be? Well, you know, we were looking, we were asking everybody, what's the weakness for the team? It's hard to find. Shane Graham's doing well at kicking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, staying healthy, I guess. You know, Shaw's had Shaw. some injuries, had the foot injury that kept him out of the playoffs. Andre but, Johnson. But they've won the last eight games that Matt Shaw has started. And in seven of those, Cedric, they've led by 20 points or more, which is hard to do in the NFL. They look like a team without a weakness, but again, we're just barely into October, long way to go.